So these are all about uh, these songs. Uh, this, this, is, this is the area free section. Through this project, I've started realizing that I I haven't been paying as much attention to accessibility as I would have liked before. Not working, not working. Yeah, this is the one where the elevator's not working. Okay. Yeah. This is the Ogimachi Park. It's very close to the Umeda city center of Osaka. And we're here because we're doing a research on how this park is accessible. We wanted to look at this park in particular because um, Osaka has been making some changes for accessibility over the years. Um, so one aspect of accessibility is knowing what is accessible um, and what it takes to get to a certain place. This ramp actually goes all the way up um, to one of the mounds uh, where you can see some colored pipes. And it has a really nice view from there, so um, it would be nice if everyone could access it. Um, but the problem is that this slope is pretty steep, um, so users in wheelchairs uh, would have to work pretty hard. I've always been cognizant of accessibility because it does usually like affect me, but what I think um, is really helpful with this project is working with other people. I want space underneath so that people can actually feel a little bit. We're from kind of different backgrounds and then combining those backgrounds in an interdisciplinary project kind of lets us see how we can solve these kinds of issues. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at all the things we've created in two days. <laughs> it was a 3D model, but we also incorporated the robots into our design. Um, so for example, in the garden area, we have a robot that can um, help remind people when to water the plant. Um, so in conclusion, uh, we found that creating barrier-free spaces is not just um, creating uh, access for people with disabilities, but also uh, it's about inclusivity for all members of society.